Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Christed Conscious Tribe of the New Lemuria Rising. All things are lining up for the full collapse and into the transformation of all nefarious systems and programs into those in service to Gaia and the highest good of all involved. The great mystery, the source of all creation, is preparing the hearts and minds of all starseed ground crew of the 144 for the final quantum leap in consciousness into the illuminated ones of bright virtue. The master symbol is being transmitted and activated within the heart center of our legion of light. The pure resonance of Brahma is the gift of life being breathed into the sacred vessels of light to commence the rainbow body protocol for the freedom of consciousness of the infinite way of Buddha mind. Nothing can stop what is coming, and it is good. The alchemy of liquid gold is the holy mana flowing from heaven's gate down the Katika path of the central channel into the roots of humanity and deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. The Akash is being accessed and updated with the new records of our future past to merge with this now to assist in the activation of the totality of our multidimensional self. The veils are dissolving and lifting to reconnect our perceptions to the universal one of cosmic consciousness. The kingdom of God is at hand, and our new heaven upon the new earth is coming into fruition in this eternal now. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 22 degrees, 2 minutes Capricorn, 222 portal. The sun is at 7 degrees, 39 minutes Scorpio. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 23 degrees Capricorn. A soldier receiving two awards for bravery in combat. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Scorpio. A moon shining across a lake. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. We're reactivating our solar grids in the body and ley lines of Gaia. Electric tower connection and process, zap. And from Divine Brawl Throw of the Light, Roberto Nunez, 555-1212. All signs that something is ending. These experiences will feel unpleasant, but you can also find freedom in them. A lot of you are going through the goodbye to the old, hello to the new phase. Old things don't work anymore, no matter how hard you try. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. You may feel scattered or as if something is slowing down. Have hope, have faith. The universe is not abandoning you, but taking more time to prepare your blessings, because they will be amazing and just bigger than you thought. Just keep taking your steps, even the baby ones. Hold on to your vision. You are prepared for what's next. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. After yesterday's grid clearing, the 1111 gateway opened as of 2.22 a.m. last night. Witnessed a line of souls in preparation for the mass exodus that initiated in late August, as well as an even longer line of souls ready for their walk-in experience. Much is rearranging, but certain contracts have been agreed upon for the next phase, projects, and missions. Soul Monad integrated amongst many soul groups. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee. Spiritual Law of Vibration and Manifestation, October 30th, 2022. As new humans on new earth, we live as awakened vibrational-based living spirits. What we vibrate, we attract to our lives. With an honorable intention, we project from our hearts and neutral minds. 
we then can manifest positive things in our lives and on earth. However, if the mind still resides in the fear-based realm and with the intention of survival, we may manifest more of the same old fear-based and survival-driven realities into our lives. We live what we create. We manifest from what we vibrate and what vibration we send out. This is the spiritual law of vibration and law of manifestation. Therefore, as a light worker and enlightened being, it is recommended to vibrate from the heart so that we can manifest a world full of love and peace. Any attempt of manifesting new earth from the old, third-dimensional mindset and programmed vibration is futile. Only when we live in the heart and vibrate from the heart in the fifth-dimensional realm, we can truly manifest new earth-based and high vibrational reality. That is to say, watch out what you vibrate and where your vibration is and know that is what you will manifest into your life. Stay in the heart and live on new earth, dear ones. Leave the old behind, and that includes the old way of creating and manifesting. Happy new earth living, everyone. From Linda Lee. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. In every appearance and experience presenting itself to you, there is a new opportunity for you to choose to define or redefine or reclaim your relationship to things. We are being given the blessing of planting seeds of a new reality based wholly in love. And this means meeting our circumstances and situations in new ways and from higher perspectives. So what to do? No matter the appearances, remember who you truly are. You are being given opportunities to show yourself the truth of you. God is showing this to you in your life experiences right now as you choose from which vantage point to experience. From the heart instead of old fearful programs, you will change your life. It is already happening. Is this fear or love? What am I choosing to see? Where do I witness God? Do I feel God within me in this moment? Commune with the wisdom of your heart. Be with the seeds of love you are planting. Choose a new way of seeing and experiencing and you will become a witness, an expression of the living God. Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21.5 Allow all of the layers of grief, sadness, anger, confusion, despair, and fear to be released and return to the pure energy of your heart. Tears are the waters of the soul and will water the seeds of love that you are planting from your world, from your heart, and this love is a love that heals the world. That is the truth of how powerful you truly are. I am sending you love and I am knowing of the master you are. No fear, only love, always, always. I so love you, beloveds. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., the Eclipse Passageway, Update Number 4, Trusting the Mystery of Life. Dear friends, we are fully immersed in the Eclipse Passageway energies, which started on October 25th and will last until November 7th and 8th, when the lunar eclipse will take place during the next full moon. On top of this, moderate geomagnetic storms were recorded in the last 24 hours, which add an extra energetic factor. The light codes showering our planet at this point in time can create feelings of uncertainty and confusion. We are in between eclipses and the information our bodies are receiving might feel somewhat contradictory. One day we may feel very optimistic and ready for a big change, and the following day we have no idea where we are standing. Our nervous system and ego personality feels in between dimensions. In times of intense energetic shifts such as this, the best thing we can do is to slow down, breathe deeply, ground ourselves, and simply wait for our physical and mental bodies to integrate the new information. As we do this, the physical symptoms associated with this type of light codes may include dizziness, lack of balance, vivid dreams, sleepiness, disorientation, mild anxiety and a need to spend more time by yourself in your own energetic cocoon. Various types of sensitives may also flare up, 
such as sensitivity to loud noises, bright lights, heavy food, and last but not least, emotional sensitivities. In our fast, loud, and reactive 3D world, our personality ego is constantly expecting instantaneous results over and over again. The 3D matrix we are leaving behind is all about reaction and automatic action, but we are currently transitioning into 5D, a very different energetic template mostly based on leading from the heart and not so much from the intellect, being rather than reacting. During this transitional period, if you feel you are not receiving clear guidance about your future steps, please relax. Often not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. When you ask for guidance and don't receive it, it can often mean wait. It's not yet time. The details are being woven. Our challenge is to keep trusting when, on the surface, it appears that nothing is happening. To remember that you don't need to solve all of your life's challenges in a single day, and that perhaps they'll be better solved with some perspective and a good night's sleep. These days of intense energies, please give yourself permission to slow down, switch off, and rest. Give your nervous system a little break and focus more on your heart. You're being reminded to have patience and to trust the mystery of life. To trust that things are being woven on your behalf. It may not be happening as fast as you'd like, but if you gather up the patience, it will be orchestrated better than you can ever imagine, all in divine timing. Have a blessed Sunday, friends. Much love from DiegoBerman.com From Divine Angel of the Light, Blue Rose Oracles As the veils between the dimensional realms are thinning and the woven fabric of vibratory gateways between worlds ripples and shimmers, we are gifted the opportunity to enter through our enhanced awareness, the space between the deeper, delicate layers of our own intricate web, the threads of our emotional energy inextricably entwined within our presence in this reality experience. Silken layer by silken layer, weaving narratives, identities, constructs, shadows, and misaligned projections of ourselves based on the validation and conditioning scripts and fractal representations across old timelines, and most importantly our own inner voice mirroring our hopes and fears, layer by layer into this intricate infinite web that constructs our reality, our identity, as our focus and attention expands the construct of our creation. The Sawin Gateway is affording the opportunity to collectively clear significant Dense swaths of emotional trauma and turmoil echoes from the grids. I'm seeing a lot of antiquated shock and conflict wounds being transmuted from our timelines. As we individually recognize the vibrational resonance of shock, fear, and fragmentation within ourselves. The interconnectedness of our collective journey is incredibly heightened at present as we sit at the precipice of a significant collective quantum shift into a new dimensional bandwidth. There is an acceleration of our cellular data clearing and reality experience triggers as we are delayering the energetic webs and attachments to connections and narratives and identification constructs that belong to dissolving or redundant timelines. Old programming and old timelines are resurfacing replaying fear and anxiety loops as old layers clear and identity constructs dissolve. Intuitive and sensory stimulus very heightened, edgy vibes in the air, jittery tummy, skin pricked, and I'm finding that once I step into heart space and reaffirm trust within, through aligning with the higher heart, the inner illusionist departs. Deep clearing and self-love as many layers of the interconnected webs shimmer into visibility and awareness. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. You are love. And from Divine Sister of Delight, Judith Kusel, As the individual consciousness of each soul rises, that soul will be able to access higher degrees of knowledge, what it could not access before. I am most certainly finding this for myself, and I am astounded at what is now opening up on multidimensional levels as the new earth is making her presence felt more and more. There is a powerful emerging now 
and the higher heart and higher mind now are merging into one. There is no place for ego here. It is purity and integrity which accesses the highest truth, as all is accessed through the sacred heart steeped in love and through the soul. More than this I will not say, for each soul is unique, and each one has a different soul calling and purpose, and will be given according to whatever he or she is meant to bring into form and being. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica Light Scribes, your true light mission is emerging, the calling of light, the necessary pathway to assist the gateway of light, seldom used for centuries now awakening like a sleeping giant now emerging it will be foreign magnificent a slow evolving process as you turn the pages of your internal light book to reach the next chapter of light understand each page will have its unique value as you wish to turn each page quickly for some it will require the focusing of one or two unique pages until you reach the true meaning for the pace of reading a book is let alone by the reader. For the path of personal observation is a unique multifaceted path. As we now lead to 2023, as the light scribes continue to awaken. With love for your journey, Cosmic Light Family, Karen Lithica, Light Channel, Crystal Vibrational Healer, from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars stations retrograde in Gemini. For the next two and a half months, the cosmos suggests we go within and get in touch with our inner warrior. Mars asks, what do you really want? Consider your goals, your passions, your drive. This is a checkpoint to reassess whether what you are doing is taking you in the right direction. Sometimes we're so busy doing that we forget why we're doing it. It may be necessary to deal with conflicts both internal and external during this process. Address bottled up anger safely. Be open to taking direction. Rewire your thinking. Avoid impulsive decisions. There are times in life when we must lead and times when we must follow. As Mars will square Neptune three times during the retrograde, we have a chance to learn to differentiate between fear and intuition. Expect a slowdown. The Sabian symbol of the station degree is frost-covered trees against winter skies. Be patient. Now is a time of rest, withdrawal, waiting. Conserve your energy to reclaim your fire. If you feel frustrated, ask yourself, what's the connection? Be curious and open to changing your mind. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Harmonic Convergence 2020 through 2028, coming full circle, closing a 3,600-day hologram on the Maya long count. Today, October 30th, 2022, marks a key intersecting node of harmonic resonance between the three calendrical systems we have been exploring for the past three weeks. The Gregorian calendar, the Mayan long count of 13 Bakhtun and 20 Bakhtun cycles, the 13 moon, 28 day calendar, and the Zolkin, 1320 natural time matrix. October 2022, synchronic portal between past, present, and future. For the past years, we have been highlighting on this page the multiple numeric and harmonic factors converging during this entire 2020 through 2022 transition, indicating to us a clear and coherent integration between these three calendars. How is this? The month of October 2022, the 10th month of the Gregorian year, holds an intersection of special significance. It's during days like today that we can appreciate the synchronic order operating at an astonishing harmonic resonance level, weaving a perfect blanket of continuity between past, present, and future timelines. Contemplation of these cyclical patterns and practice of recapitulation, remembrance of the integrity of the hologram during portals like today, 
represent unique opportunities to model and hold the memory field as the fourth dimensional frequency of continuing consciousness. Entering the ancient future now. Yesterday we completed a perfect fractal hologram of 13 Zolkeen matrices since we crossed the galactic synchronization event horizon of July 26, 2013, and today we are 3,600 days from crossing the December 21, 2012 event horizon on long count marker 13.0.0.0.0 marking the closing of the 13 Bakhtun hologram. Today marks precisely the completion of 10 perfect cycles of 360 days, known as Tun, since the closing of the 13th Bakhtun on 1221 2012 on the ancient Mayan long count. 3,600 days is a perfect fractal hologram of the 360 degrees on a circle. This is therefore a key intersection of harmonic resonance on the advanced vigesimal system, galactic synchronization at the heart of the Katun One. This intersection of 3,600 days corresponds to the heart midpoint of the first 7,200-day Katun cycle of the 7 Baktun cycle of the Noosphere, 2012 through 4772. This Katun 1 goes from December 22, 2012 to September 6, 2032. Within the Vigesimal System today is noted as 13.0.10.0.0, 3 Ahau, the equivalent of Keen 123 Sun, 144,000 Day Fractal Synchronization. Contemplating today the potency of this alignment, led to an even more major discovery. Three Ahau is the same signature of long count marker 14.0.0.0.0 when we will complete a major holographic milestone. 14 cycles of 144,000 days from long count marker 0.0.0.0.0 for Ahau. To summarize, yesterday we completed a perfect hologram of 13 galactic spins from Galactic Synchronization 2013 and today, October 30th, 2022, as we reach the exact midpoint of Katun 1, since the transcendental long count date noted as 13.0.0.0.0, December 21st, 2012. We are also synchronizing with the end of the current 144,000 day Bakhtun cycle that will take place in exactly 140,400 days in the future from today. The end date Omega Portal corresponds to March 26, 2407 and the Gregorian calendar is noted as 14.0.0.0.0.3 Ahau on the advanced vigesimal system of the ancient Maya long count. This is an astonishing triple alignment. The mathematics behind this synchronization are really simple and elegant. The 140,400 day interval to the closing of the present 14th Bakhtun corresponds precisely to 540 cycles of 260 days and 389 cycles of 360 days. This is because 540 times 260 equals 389 times 360. Time is art. Triple alignment of golden proportions. The completion of this transcendental holographic milestone is enshrined right in between the current eclipse window that started with the solar eclipse as of October 25th 2022, NS 1.35.4.8, Keen 160 for Sun, and will close with the lunar eclipse of November 8th, 2022. This eclipse portal synchronized with Keen 160 for Sun, highlighting the golden intersection of the 260 day time matrix. It was also preceded October 22nd, 2022, day 5 of this fourth moon 
by the second external conjunction between Earth and Venus, holding the second star point of the 2020 through 2028 pentagonal cycle, also governed by the golden proportion. Fractal time synchronization, 13 moons in 13 days. Now seems also important to remember that the synchronization is taking place with a nested fractal time window. How is this? According to one keen equal one moon fractal count of 260 moons, the entire magnetic moon of the current new Sirius cycle 35, NS1.35, corresponds to keen 66, the second moon to keen 67 and the third moon to keen 68 and the entire fourth moon of this year corresponds to keen 69 four moon holding a perfect nested synchronization fractal of 28 days where the keen of the moon holds the energy of the keen of the year this cycle goes from october 18th 2022 to november 14th 2022 and its exact midpoint corresponds to october 31st and November 1st. Precisely every year this window of time comprised between October 31st to November 2nd corresponds to three days of multicultural celebrations across the earth to honor the life and memory of those loved ones who have crossed this plane of existence. This three-day window corresponds to October 31st, Samhain, Pagan, Celtic, and Druid. November 1st, All Saints Day, Catholic Church. November 2nd, Dia de los Muertos, Popular Culture, Mexico. On the Wheel of the Seasons, this day marks one of the four cross-quarter festivals around the world that honor the three principles present in nature. One life, two death, three regeneration. From the purely archetypal perspective, these festivals reflect then the cyclical nature of time, the passings of the seasons and the recollection of the last crops before the arrival of winter in the northern hemisphere. These fruits were offered during this time to the spirits of nature and to the ancestors as a way to give thanks for having provided abundance during the year. Time is art. This 3,600 day milestone is also announcing to us that we are 1,080 days from arriving to the golden intersection of timelines of October 14th through 15th, 2025. This is the first cycle of 360 days of the prophetic window of 1,440 days from long count marker 13.0.9. 0 .0 to long count marker 13.0.13.0.0 October 15, 2025. The golden intersection of timelines and the completion of 443 years since the start date of the Gregorian calendar. 443 years is equal to 161,803 days. A perfect fractal measure of the golden ratio, 1.61803. In la catch. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 165, Red Solar Serpent. Solar is the name for the number 9 and its keywords are intention, pulse, and realize. Today is the ninth day of the Red Earth Wave Spell and it is a portal day. The ninth day of a wave spell is always a turning point. It is very powerful because 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 is the number of intentions. And so whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve it if you have enough determination. Today is the red serpent which represents life force, instinct, and survive. As I have said before, the serpent is probably the most complicated character in the Zolkin. It has many meanings and deep esoteric knowledge to share. The Maya held the serpent in such high esteem. One of their most sacred deities was Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Now to me, a feathered serpent or a serpent that can fly is the very symbol of the calendar itself. Imagine if you could see the moon's movements. It very much is like the snake's imprint in the sand. Time moves like a serpent. Synchronicity is the art of being in the right place at the right time. 
The red earth symbolizes evolution and also synchronicity. One leads to another. On serpent days we can feel very sensitive, but this greatly can aid our navigation and in turn improve our timing. If your senses are tingling today, remember it is all to help your synchronicity. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Solar Serpent, Nine Chik Chan, Keen 165, 30th of October 2022, Pulsing Life Force. 30, 10, 2022, equal 316, equal 37, equal 10, equal 1. Day codes, 30, retrospection, retreat. 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity. 10, manifestation, authority, power. 1, new beginnings, leader, original. Month year codes, 10, manifestation, authority, power. 1, new beginnings, leader, original. 7. Mystic Magic Spiritual Initiation Solitude 2. Twins Partners Cooperation Alliances 6. Heaven Christ Family Romance Fertility 20. The Awakening Clear Vision 22. Architect of Peace Master Builder Keen 165 equal 12 equal 3 Holy Trinity 3.3. Three, three, divine Portal A Transformational Galactic Activation Power Portal Another gap day today adds extra intensity to this potent day when the veils to other dimensions are easily accessible. A powerfully enriched day of passion and intensity to live life with renewed vigor. Day 9 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today carries an intensity of responding instinctively to the synchronicities that come our way as a means for survival. We are pulsing out raw, passionate energy through our instincts to ensure our evolution as individuals and the human species. Tone of Creation Solar Tone 9 operates in the spiritual realm, action realizing, power pulsing, essence intention. The ninth day of the wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. Today is extremely potent as we have the solar pulsing tone pairing with the red serpent's intensity, passion, and life force, with the dragon's creation codes and a galactic activation portal day. Kapow! This is very, very, very powerful manifestation energy today. Make sure you are fully conscious of your intent and what you wish to realize and avoid dropping into fear and survival responses. What vision and intention are you pulsing into reality? So precious hearts, a very intense and power-fueled gap day today. Make sure your conscious awareness guides you to navigate a grace-filled path, responding to the magic and synchronicities that are pushing us all to keep moving forward. Look for the signs. Keep an eye on the global scene today as all this fire survival energy is sure to uncover many truths that humanity needs to see for our future evolution into the light. Today's question is, what am I pulsing for through my passionate intentions to birth today? Divine blessings for birthing brilliant solar impulses today. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 165, Red Solar Serpent. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to survive. Realizing instinct, I seal the store of life force. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of birth. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. 
And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of all of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Aaron McGuire, for your pledge and support on Patreon today. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Eva Cook, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this without you. So if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe account. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete our transmissions with a powerful affirmations from Blue Rose Oracles. I release old timelines. I release old layers. I release past versions of myself aligned with the old matrices. I step into new templates and rebirth through the higher heart gateway. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Sunday and most sacred Sawin tomorrow on Halloween Monday, the moon day of the last day, October 31st, as we transition into the powerful portal of November and the 111222 activation gateway. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.